What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Jericho Report. It is Sunday, the 9th of February, 2020. What do we got going on in the news this past week? The first link below will take you over to the blog spot. That's where you can find all this madness I'm going to give you. I want to start off with my latest video a couple days ago about the coronavirus updates and how they're starting to establish quarantine sites in the United States. That's all the coronavirus news I'm going to give you in this report. Please check out that video. All kinds of link under that one. That'll be the first link. General news this week. Trump claims full exoneration after acquittal, but Pelosi insists he remains impeached forever. Oh, the sweet, the, the sweet tears of Pelosi this week. You know, you know me. I'm not on any side, and, and in my opinion, it's all for our entertainment. But, you know, suck on it, Dems. That's all I'm going to say. And, of course, after the State of the Union speech, Pelosi so mad she rips up President Trump's speech. I'll put a link. Oh, just so sweet to see her eat a dick. I apologize for my language. I know there's people that don't like the language, but I don't know any other way to say it. Okay, in other news this week, we got uh, we had a terror attack, I guess, over in, what was this, London? Uh, terrorist shot dead by police after stabbing two people. Put a link to that. We got uh, Snoop Dogg is apparently upset over something. Oh, something to do with Kobe Bryant's death. Somebody said he was a he was a rapist or something. Snoop Dogg got up on Twitter talking about he's gonna go he's gonna go take people out. Watch what you're saying on the internet, Snoop. Just saying. Uh, in other news, as if things aren't bad enough for China, they call 18,000 chickens after H5N1 bird flu cases in human. Hmm? That from Bloomberg on February 2. And over in Saudi Arabia, apparently H5N8. All these numbers and letters. Highly problematic uh, bird flu going on over there. So just just doom all over the world. Over to financial news. Let's see. I don't even know how the Dow did this week. Looks like the Dow dropped to 277 on Friday for the week. The Dow gained 846 points. Oh, boy. Where did that leave it? Uh, 29. We're back on the road to 30,000 for the Dow. Put a latest to the financial news. Coronavirus. China to pump billions into economy amid growth fears. That, February 2, from BBC. Coronavirus, uh, the black swan might finally sink the markets. What? That, February 6, from the Telegraph. A couple more. China to, to uh, have tariffs on some U.S. I guess they, they can't do the tariffs they want to do just because their economy is going down the crapper. Put a link to that. And judge demands answers after Jeffrey, Jeffrey, M Jeffrey Epstein. I need to stop trying to talk so fast. I'm trying to give you so much news so fast. I'm just wired, right? Jeffrey Epstein estate after millions of dollars flood into his dormant offshore bank account in the Virgin Islands. Hmm, you think he's really dead? Over to, where does that put us now? New World Order and Police State News. Children in all 50 states being taught. Revolutionary, revolutionary War was fought to promote slavery. That from the Western Journal on February 6. Interesting, how soon we forget our history. Zero Hedge puts us out. Police called to school after six-year-old with Down syndrome makes a gun finger. How dare you? We call SWAT team on your ass. Put a link to that. Not the first time we've heard of something like that. And up in Canada, my friends up in Canada, be advised the uh, prime minister up there wants to wants to force news websites to have a government license. Operation Blackjack much? Jericho much? Hmm. Put a link to that. One more. And now this. Now I'm going to say something about this. This is an older article. This is from actually 2013. Police track millions of license plate. Look, I noticed just recently in St. Louis City, there's always been all these cameras at intersections, major intersections. Now there's new cameras going up on traffic lights. The kind of cameras you see strapped to the back of police cars who are capturing license plate numbers. These are going up all over St. Louis at major intersections. So, I, you know, this is this is an older article, but I don't think it's something people think about when, when it comes to, to the police state, you know, because it's becoming such a common thing. I just wanted to throw that in there this week. Please tell me your thoughts on that. Over to World War III news. I got some sad news. Two Special Forces soldiers killed. Six wounded during apparent insider attack in Afghanistan. This happened just uh, 12 hours ago as I'm shooting this video. That, that was pretty fresh news. We also had Syrian air defense engage hostile targets over in Damascus. Videos three days ago from RT. From the Daily Mail, Donald Trump takes out another terrorist leader. U.S. Uh, kills Al-Qaeda's chief in Yemen after airstrike after he repeatedly... Uh, threatened to attack him on American soil, so I'll put a link to that. Uh, meanwhile, what else is new? Iran's president says America is a terrorist, commits terrorist acts, blah, blah, blah. That four days ago from Reuters. Meanwhile, as tensions rise with Iran, Afghanistan becomes the longest war in U.S. history. I thought it was already the longest war, but this article came on on February 5. I'll just throw that in there. Some North Korea news this week. What would North Korea nuclear submarine mean for the United States and its allies? Put a link to that. Hmm. 
as if he could actually get a sub. Okay, never mind. From RT, I got one more. Feel the sun heat. Watch Russia's fearsome heavy flame door system. And, and check it out. How'd you like some of that in your face? Where does that put us now? Over to Earth changes in 2012 news. I'm kind of disappointed in the USGS. You know, I know these earthquakes. This 24131. This is supposed to be auto updated. But if I go to, uh, let's see, seven days all magnitudes, US only. I don't know. I'll put a link to the USGS website. You can search it if you want to hear him updated. 29 South Africa. See, I, I push US and it gives me South Africa. I don't understand. But uh, some big quakes this week. Uh, I'll put a link to the earthquake information. Antarctica hits 64.9 degrees, highest temperature ever recorded on the continent, February 7, 2020, from Yahoo News. It's getting hot out there. Meanwhile, it's still cold in St. Louis. Cyclone uh, Damien downgraded after damaging homes in Western Australia. Put a link to this from The Guardian. That's fresh news. I just picked that one up. Uh, Zero Hedge puts this out. Japan's set to release 1.2 million tons of radioactive Fukushima water into the ocean, as if things uh, aren't already bad for the Pacific Ocean. That come out February 1, and... Scientists bewildered after a monster galaxy dies without warning. I don't know. New York Post, February 5, 2020. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I got links all over the place here. Over to strange and bizarre news. Now, look at this. Tesla remotely, remotely disables autopilot on used Model S after it was sold. They're saying Tesla says the owner can't use features it didn't pay for. Well, the car was bought by a dealer and then resold, and Tesla's saying that they're shutting off features because... I don't know. I thought that was strange. You tell me. The Sun puts this out. Godspeed, stranded motorist, speaking of cars. Snapped, praying to the front of his stricken car on shoulder of the M6. Why are you not run? I'll put a link to that. <laughs> Sorry. New York Post puts this out. Man sets fire to $1 million to keep ex-wife from getting it. Right on February 5. Put a link to that. Six story here. Girl 13 pregnant with 10 year old baby with 10 year old boyfriend's baby now social media influencer. This is the state of humanity. Social media influencer? Just read the headline. I, I I'm not even gonna, you know. Texas mother trying to transition her seven year old son into girl loses in court as judge orders her to share custody with ex husband who says he's just confused. Well, right on, something goes right for a change. What the hell are we doing to the kids? How can a seven-year... If I comment on all these, I'm never going to get through them all. And, strange and bizarre, Ben. Apparently, Donald Trump now thinks he is Superman. Check it out. The President of the United States of America thinks he is Superman. Okie dokie. That's all I got for strange and bizarre news. For all other news, please check my favorite videos. I have favorited a lot of videos this week. I'm constantly favoring stuff. Mark Dice has got a good one. He comes out with good stuff all the time. We got no Nancy Pelosi uh, tearing up the papers. We got all kinds of stuff over here. Check out my favorites. Over to shout outs. Shout out to the GLP thread. You know this this thread really touched me this week. Random American high school in 1989 sets vitality, happiness, vigor. What happened to us? Someone posted a video on GLP of just a random uh, video yearbook from 1989. Just so happened to be Jericho High School. I don't know if some some weird law of attraction stuff or what, but you know, it's an hour long and if you know some people have a problem with GLP, I'll put a link directly to the video. You know, for those of you who grew up in the eighties and remember, you know, what 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 life used to be like before smartphones and the internet, you know, this video and it's full of good music. I'm not gonna play the audio because it's copyright stuff, but if you, look, if you want to watch something different to take you back and, and just remember what life used to be like, check that video out, definitely. And if you like this report, please consider supporting me on Patreon or directly with PayPal. I put a lot of time and effort into this every week to give you all the links that I've gathered up. You can also follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Gab to get uh, news and information from me through the week. Sorry I'm a bit tongue-tied. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning as I'm shooting this. I've got a lot of caffeine in me. These are the headlines that I've stored up for you this week. Please tell me what you think about all this news. Please rate this video. Pass it around. Make people aware. What's coming up this week? Probably more just coronavirus news. The impeachment stuff is over. Oh, it was so sweet. I know it's all entertainment, but, you know, Nazi Pelosi, she really mad. I mean, she, you could just see the steam coming off her head. I mean, so sweet. You guys take care. Stay safe. I will see you on the next one. Have a great week.